You know my motto, hmm, shit your pants on a Tuesday, Wednesday's down the drain. <laughs> kids probably not you're right so here, Ooh. rest my case he needs to make it a baker's dozen you referring to the woman's womb as an oven again you think that's cute <laughs> i didn't say i said baker's dozen so who's making the babies nick hmm? giving him a little more credit than he deserves i believe shooters shoot man and women nurture well <laughs> they can yeah can do a lot of other things they cook the baby up in their baby gut oven okay baby gut oven somehow. in their gut oven and i'm the disrespectful one somehow honey let's preheat that thing to 350 i'm about to come inside you you know what i mean that's what <laughs> okay you know when people say they're trying for a baby yeah it's always cute and it's always in like a sure. kind of sophisticated sorry i'm gonna take this oh, yeah. for a it's a great great no uh, go ahead Keep it's kind going. of like a dinner party uh-huh and you have your 30 something year old friends over oh no we're actually we're trying we're trying for one. We're actually trying right now. Yeah. That means he's creaming inside of me and we're having sex all the time. That's yeah. what that means. Or they got the apps and they're only having sex on the days where it tells We you. are timing up my ovulation and he's trying to sneak in a blast into that little <laughs> magic window. Yeah. When that revolving doors slot machine windows open, he's trying to come up in my guts yeah. and we're going to cook a baby in this bitch. And if he does that maybe 30 to 60 times with no results, they'll both go to the doctor and go, which one's broken? Yeah. Either his spunk is gunk or her eggs are scrambled. Yeah. Sometimes it's both. You got spunk, gunk, and scrambled eggs. And uh, what are you doing mashing those together? You might as well just watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Blank sounds like he constantly has an air bubble in his throat and he's just trying to mumble it out. This melatonin not working. I'm going to listen to his new album till I fall asleep. <laughs> All right. So there's a few elements in this one. It sounds like they have an air bubble in their throat. Mm -hmm. They're also trying to mumble it out. Yeah. And they make boring music. I was going to say, is there anything besides an air bubble that could be in your throat? But I guess a burp is a gas bubble. Or a cock <laughs> could be in there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, there could be. Let's say the possibilities. I mean, let's not rule it out. <laughs> Some things you just got to try and unhear. <laughs> Was that based, cringe, or valid? <laughs> Let me know. Wow, you really did like cater this to me. You like it? You know what I mean? I love it. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, easy. That yeah. was directly, how did you so perfectly pick exactly where my nipples were? I didn't like that. Because you're not wearing a shirt and I can just see them? I am wearing a shirt and a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. What the hell? I don't see anything. I see you for who you really are. A naked little boy. <laughs> what? Pause? I don't know what people say. What? It's not I don't know what people say, but like something like pause on that. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay, great. Should be thanking me. Smooth, smooth stuff. It's like cat butter on my ears. Cat butter? Yeah. What's cat butter? When you milk the feral cats in your neighborhood and then you churn it. Old school style. It's cat butter. Wait, you never did that? Tell me your family never did that. <laughs> Tell me your cousins never did that. And no? No. Come on. I, I know someone out there. Yeah, someone out there has done cat butter. Feral cat butter? It's gotta be feral, yep. Domesticated cats, their milk. It's a little acidic. And what does this do for your ears? Oh, it's just like some people say, like, ooh, that's smooth as butter. Oh yeah. The smoothest butter I've ever had is feral cat butter. <laughs> They don't like it very much, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it for me, at least. <laughs> okay, yeah. And pop, my family. Pop that on a biscuit, I guess. Is that the a biscuit? Yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. Always got to have some cat butter on it. Mm. Um, hot buttered rum. A hot cat buttered rum. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Toast. A little piece of toast. <laughs> Put a little cat butter on there. Forget about it. And those bus drivers, they always look so nasty. But you've never seen a person driving a school bus full of kids and been like, oh, they're hot. Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle was hot and like the nothing can hold her back. She's a free spirit. Kind of way. I mean, that and she has a huge ass and like tree trunk legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more like about, I'm more about like, oh, well, what's up here? Are you? Yeah. I'm about what's up here. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Bobbers. 
Bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Show me those big bobs, this mommy. Isn't me. <laughs> this no. I don't feel like myself doing that. I, I'm sorry to everybody who watches the Magic School Bus and everybody who watches High Mind. I'm sorry. That's just. That's yeah, not yeah, Riley. That's, yeah, that's not, not him. Me. That's not me. It's not him. I was trying to put on a little act to be a cool guy. Yeah. We I hear cool guys say stuff like that and it that. sounds normal, but when I say it, you know, it just it didn't come off right and I'm sorry. So. I'm going to go back to being me again. Ice Spice has a huge ass. <laughs> That is something I just, before we move on, I feel like it's only right that we acknowledge oh the enormity God. of that rear. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a national treasure. See, Drake has remained the same level of problematic the whole time. Yeah. Like, there's been moments where it's like, we're probably not going to put Kanye on the thumbnail recently. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Drake, still fair game. Yeah, yeah dude. Until he fucks your kid. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Like nobody's worried about crime till it's in their neighborhood. You know? yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I like simple tasks nowadays. Uh, this helps me clear my mind, get right. I'm on the lawn with my bare hands, making a fire in my backyard to heat up my bath water for my wife and I. Run getting stamps from the post office. Don't even gotta ship anything. <laughs> like stamps. Like to keep up on which government holidays are coming up too and the stamps often replicate those mm. oncoming government holidays. Polishing my hammer. That's a good one. I don't think you can say that one anymore these days. The kids are using that phrase for something else. I don't keep up with that stuff. I've been too busy polishing my hammer. <laughs> I polish my hammer at work. On the weekends I polish my hammer as well. Out in public I'll polish my hammer. Maybe you want to try greasing your wrench. Jacking off at the baseball stadium. <laughs> You know, the simple stuff. Calling in bomb threats to my kid's middle school just so I get to spend the day with them. Printing out pictures of all my female co-workers <laughs> and burning them. It's really the simple things in life. It really is. That will bring you back to earth. That is so true, Graydon. Mm -hmm. Offering a helping hand to the guy at the gas station who seems homeless and beating the absolute dog crap out of him. Just thought of this one earlier. It's I'm gonna do off the dome. I'm always topping myself like a guy with an unusually long neck. That's it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That was the best one yet, man. Were they the picky ones or was she the picky one? Oh yeah, wait a minute. Was she bossing around those bears? Yeah, were the bears pleasing Goldilocks or was Goldilocks pleasing the bears? No, I don't mean it like that. Get your head yeah, out of here. Yeah, come on, stop that. Get your head out of your ass. It's with the porridge thing. Like, right. who was eating the porridge? Was Goldilocks eating the porridge and saying, too hot, too cold? Or was it the bears? Yeah, I don't know. I literally don't remember. Oh, I forget, actually. Oh, See what I mean? fuck. Were the bears holding her hostage? What's I don't know. They, those old tales were so fucking stupid anyway. Yeah. yeah. Didn't teach me anything. I learned more from watching Full House. <laughs> Rested in peace, John Stamos. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> After long. <laughs> Let's hear the next one. Ha, 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 ha. Pussy. Take that Glock, smack that ass, Aubrey Tick, throw that bag, I'm for L, get that cash, hope my bitch Pussy. don't find my stash, Pussy. gang shit, no I'm on, okay. Drake tryna fuck me, no I want, okay. okay. ask me if I can do something for him, give him that snake, no I'm on board, give him that smoke, give him that smoke, off my ass, yeah Drake you code, give him that SBAJ stroke, make Aubrey gag, make Aubrey choke, Glock in my lap and slap my shit, okay. make that light and slap my shit, okay. after me and Drake made rich flex, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? No I giveaways wonder, in that one. I wonder who it is. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> was a tough no, one. No giveaways. I did like when the sample peeked back through and went, what? <laughs> it was about. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah, yeah. It was a moment. I'm struggling with this one. Yeah, I'm in the dark here. <laughs> he, was going, when he was going 21, 21. I was saying, what could that mean? Yeah. 21 of what? It's exactly. just an arbitrary number, you yeah. know? It's like a reverse <laughs> dozen or something. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I like the part where he says that he's going to make Aubrey gag and choke. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you like that part so much? Oh, I was being sarcastic. I hated that part. Oh, because usually the, the oral stuff is kind of my thing. No, totally. And I just wanted to make sure you weren't, you know, piggybacking on, on my blowjob stuff. No, I actually <laughs> like really like, I hate all that vulgar crap. Well, like, yeah, because that, that's up to that's my stuff. You stay out of that realm. Stick to the wordplay. Clever. You're like razor sharp wit. And I'm like, come piss shit. Yeah, see, I always know where you're going with a joke because of your come piss shit. Mm-hmm.
compass shit see see what oh, i mean razor whoa. sharp yeah. that was so meta because exactly it, it was it was exactly what you said he would do and then you but you yeah. were doing what you were doing while you were doing it and then he did it yeah, I'm real wow. yeah again yeah. you kind of touched me with the marker there a little uh, bit it's closed bro don't do that <laughs> still don't do it yeah. yeah i was just pissed off because there's so many senses he forgot about or like love and emotion and stuff no like balance yeah your equilibrium your spatial awareness kind of deal spatial awareness yeah, yeah. what mean, about the tip of your penis i mean it's very sensitive yeah, yeah. is that one in there it's not a sense though oh yeah I mean, no. It's, it's like the sense, in my opinion. <laughs> right, it's but like number one for me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I call that my little buzz ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, but it's like a feet. It's like still feeling. Oh, I thought you were going to say feet. That was number two for me. Feet? Oh, if I get my bottom of my foot tickled yeah. while someone's serving my tip. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a stray cat in that bitch, the way I start humming and on. <laughs> right. <laughs> that kind of stuff. If I get a goose feather on the bottom of my foot and you're doing a vortex motion with your tongue on my tip, <laughs> I'm going to pop like a kettle. <laughs> That's right. Diggy might not care no more, but he do care about his balls and his B.O. Thank you, Manscaped.